Getting back into the creative mood after the holidays can sometimes be a challenge. So one of my go-to practices is to make collage paper. In this video, I'll share with you just one of the ways I like to make and mark my papers ready to be used in my journals. Over the last few years, I've collected a variety of old books. I find them in charity shops and bargain bins at the bookshop. I've even gone so far as to ask them if they have any books that are destined for the bin. I couldn't possibly tear up books that were still good as books, but if they're already going to be thrown away, I might as well put them to good use. Because the papers are all different and will take the paint and mediums all differently, I start by adding some gesso with a brayer. I'm not precise about it, but it's just something to create a bit of texture. Next, I'll spray the papers with water before adding acrylic ink. Depending on whether it hits the paper or the gesso, it will react differently. Moving the paints around with a palette knife, I can often get secondary colours and get really interesting results. Don't be afraid to use black. A little goes a long way, but it can often add some much needed contrast. I let everything dry before adding any more colours. I don't want to end up with a muddy mess. Once everything's dry, I can add another layer of collage. I tend to use thinner papers like tissue paper or thin jelly prints. That way the colors from the previous layers can shine through. I glue everything down with matte medium and I have found that using a silicon spatula from the kitchen shop can help to smooth things down and not rip the delicate paper. Here's another example of how adding papers over the top makes it more interesting. More often than not, I'll add matte medium on the top to make sure everything is really stuck down, and I use my fingers to press out any bubbles. So sit back and relax, I'm going to speed things up a little bit and you can watch as I make one of these little collage clusters.
See you in the next one.